so you're standing there thinking she's in the water and I'm afraid of him, so what did you do instead? Well, he said, look, let's just, let's just wait. Maybe she went ashore um, to the restaurant. Um, the dinging was gone. I, I'm thinking to myself, plus the other thing is when we were all at the restaurant, we were all drinking a lot. And, you know, he said, let, look, let's just have a drink and let's just try to see if we, you know, let's just calm down. And I'm thinking, damn, we, we really need to call the Coast Guard. He didn't want to have any parts of that. He pours mm -hmm. a drink, let's have a drink, have a drink. Time goes by, hours go by. Doug Odin, the harbor master who finally showed up, and he is who insisted that they call the Coast Guard. Seven people were manipulated that night to not so, search for Natalie. So hours went by. Yeah. So she may have been unconscious or she may have the cold water may have brought her around she may have been fighting for her life all this time she may have been unconscious we don't know i i just it, i this strikes me as really perplexing your wife is missing yet you don't call the coast guard that searches the water why did he not do it and what did he say to you he just said we're not going to do anything right now and you drank alcohol with him. We stood on the back of the boat and drank. Where Dr. was Christopher Phil, walking during this time? He was in the stateroom. Did anybody go check his stateroom to see if she was in there? When Robert Wagner asked me to check the boat, when I checked my stateroom, I thought I'd better check Christopher's stateroom to be on the safe side. I opened the door. He was in his bed by himself. I checked the other stateroom. There was another guest stateroom. There wasn't anybody there. She could have been saved. Isn't that the hardest thing to, to reconcile? That had that call have been made, had Robert made that call, she might have been saved. Now, what was the original story that you told the police back then? Did you give a, a, a statement at that time? No, well, it was written for you. Yeah, it, what happened was when RJ and Christopher had left the boat and I was left to identify Natalie's body, um, then I was told I was, to re I was going to take, be taken directly to Robert Wagner's house. And we don't say a word to anybody. We all have our, three of us have our story straight. Who's, who's getting the story straight? Robert Wagner is telling us we have to get our story straight, and this is what happened. He's telling this to you and who? Christopher Walken. Okay, so you... Christopher Walken and Robert Wagner, he's saying the three of you have to get your story straight. Correct. Okay, and what was the story that you got straight? The story was that um, when they went down below and that Natalie was going to retire for the night, that the uh, dinghy was banging up against the boat and um, she went outside to untie the dinghy, which the dinghy was properly tied to the back of the boat. Mm -hmm. And... Um, when she untied the dinghy to move it away from the boat, which she would have never done in a million years. She wouldn't even go outside in, in the dark and the cold and the rough, the, the way things were, she would never, never do it. And so being she was, we said that she did this, then she slipped and fell into the water and drowned. And this story was given to you by who? by Robert Wagner. He said, this is the story we're going to tell. Correct. And where did he get the story? That's what he had to, um, that's what he had to dream up because he, there was nothing else he could think of. We got to the house. He said, you're going to have, this is going to be your lawyer. You know, I didn't know who he was, but he was, he was appointed to me. Christopher had his and RJ had his. You were coerced by Robert. He even got you a role on Heart to Heart, the TV show. To, yeah. to buy your silence. Yeah, he did that. He got me into the uh, Screen Actors Guild, extras. And, uh, did he get you like a that. lawyer? Yes, he did. Yes. And you lived with him in the immediate aftermath? Did yeah. he move you into the guest house? No, I was in, in, inside the main house upstairs and kind of remained prisoner in the house. 